hello welcome to another video of this SK Design YouTube channel in this video I am going to continue my design on the connecting rod and I'm also going to finish it so yeah I'm not going to talk about it anymore I'm just start doing that so as you might remember from the first connecting rod video that I did um, I kind of thought it was too heavy and I changed a little bit of all these sizes and everything so the first thing that I could have done to make it lighter was to also not just make the connecting rod lighter but just eventually that would make the whole car lighter basically the whole engine but the sort of plan is to kind of take this whole piece out of it because you make uh, the connecting rod just slimmer at the bottom profile and by doing that you also you have to like imagine an, another connecting rod sitting right next to it so because I will make a v-shaped engine so two connecting rods will be on the same load so if I make this whole thing slimmer the whole engine block and the whole crankshaft will also be able to get short and everything because the distance between the two centers of the pistons because of the way they are connected to the uh, crankshaft with by uh, via the connecting rod will be less so um, I will be able to explain that better when I'm actually also working on the crankshaft and everything but um, so that's the first thing I'm going to do so uh, I'm going to just go back a little bit before uh, yeah basically right up to this point and um, I'm going to kind of take almost I want it to be a little bit more extended than this but I was basically just thinking about taking this whole piece out so um, yeah let's see what happens no I'm not going to do it in that manner so select this space click on extrude surface con convert entities and just take these things out and let's say we do 5 millimeters, 3.5, 3.5. So, and by the way, let me first of all kind of undo all of that and check exactly again how much this connecting rod really weighs. So, 324 grams. So, let's see how much weight we save by doing this. Bunch of these features will fill, but we'll see what happens. Oh, it's actually, pretty, it endeavored pretty well. The only thing I have to do is correct this filleting right here. So I'll just do that real quick. Now we'll just do it from this point out. Let's say five millimeters. make it six you know what I'm gonna do it I'm also make these a little bit shorter because I've been looking at a bunch of different connecting rod designs that don't need to be that long so let's say 25 millimeters thirty I still want to kind of extend it a little bit more than 30. So that works fine for me, aesthetically at least. I don't know how well that will function in the real world. And again, 5 millimeters. Um, 3, 4, 4. So that is the first part of this video. I'm basically already done. The next thing I would do is um, go to features, go to hole wizard, but instead of hole wizard, you select the thread. And so you just kind of follow the instructions, thread location, this circle right here. And you want to go down the yup, um, but I also want to offset because if you don't have, make it offset, it will uh, kind of leave like an edge or anything, so you kind of need to do that. And the sizes, oh, I want it to be metric. That looks good. Okay, it's an M10. Yeah, M10. So, you just pull it down all the way through.
Oh, I selected the wrong thing. Um, so here's an, another option. So you can select the cut extrude that it is actually cutting out, or you yeah, can select that it is actually adding on to a circle. And in this situation, we need to add on to so that it will actually come out to the green line and everything. So yeah. And now you can see that it kind of is messed up, but then you just have to take away the F X, uh, you know, all the excessive material. But before I do that, I'm going to just uh, do it also at the other side. So now we also got these threads going through them. So we can actually bolt something to it if we also got a, a bottom cap. So um, yeah, let's check out before we make that bottom cap how much it weighs. It was 324 and it's now at 282. So we saved about 40 grams. And that is just on every single connecting rod. So we also will probably save a lot on just the fact that we kind of took some size out of the set out of the um out of the block and out of the crankshaft and all of that so that will also be beneficial later on so that um, is basically everything we have to do to the connecting rod i feel confident with the design of that so the next thing i'm gonna do is make the bottom cap and i'm gonna just open a new part just make the circle and those measurements were 40 by 35 in the middle and that's the radius so I have to select 30 7 so uh, to have like the, the full the right sizes that needs to be 40 and the total distance uh, I believe it was 30 mil, but we took out a total of 7, so it needs to be 23, if I'm correct. We'll check that later on. And in the center of everything, we got, uh, let's see. Nah, I'm just take this edge out a little bit. Maybe like a two millimeter fillet or something. Yeah, it'll be better. And then again, uh, save the part. Connecting that right cap on the card. Next thing we're going to do is add a material to it. So I believe I selected some sort of titanium alloy. I don't remember which one it was. Um, and the next thing we're going to do is open a new assembly this time. And here goes the connecting rod. That's basically all there is to it. So now that we're done with making the connecting rod, the next thing I'm gonna do is save this assembly. Sketch uh, close SolidWorks and I'm again open the visualize. And I'm going to 
fried chick. Now I put in the model, we can start to give it an appearance, but I just didn't want to go for like a regular material. So let's make it gold. Yeah. What would that look like in a render? Let's find out. Um, Oh, you know what? I like this brushed. Like some kind of an armor bouquet finish. Like that. And now, let's wait for the rent to get done. So as you can see, we have like this nice titanium brush, but it's not really all the way around brushed properly, but you can kind of fine tune it with, um, yeah, just the way you put the texture on and everything. But that's a finished connecting rod for you. So thanks for watching. Please leave us a like and also subscribe. And tomorrow I'll we'll start with the engine block. Do I, should I do the engine block first or the crankshaft? Crankshaft. So crankshaft tomorrow, see you guys in another video, I'm out.